Culture is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world, and Toro Kingdom presents one of the richest cultural attractions in Uganda, hence the Echoto Hampango Festival, which aims at boosting tourism in the region. The event kicked off with a two-day royal tour lead by the Omukam of Toro, Oyonimba Kabambai Guru the fourth. The Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, Tom Butime, and the UNDP resident representative, Elsie Atafa, who visited different tourist attractions in the region, such as the Amavere Ganinamuiru, Semiliki Hot Springs, and Chivale National Park for the chimpanzee trekking. The Mokama later officiated the grand opening of the Echoto Hampango at the Mocha Ground, the Toro Kingdom Parliament. The King, Royal Family and other government stakeholders also inspected exhibitors in different stores that were showcasing cultural items. United Nations Development Program representative Elsie Atafa appreciated the Toro Kingdom for harnessing culture to recover tourism, especially after being hit by the pandemic. She urged Ugandans to embrace digital skills to push tourism. And scalable businesses that address today's social and economic challenges. Your Majesty, Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, UNDP in Uganda has also partnered with enterprising women and youth across the country to harness culture, nature, and digital technology to stimulate recovery, build resilience, and tackle biodiversity loss and climate change. Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, Tom Bitime, revealed that the government is ready to work with Toro Kingdom to boost tourism in the region. The Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, and its agencies, together with the partners, most especially the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, has designed programs to boost the tourism industry in this region. The Mukam of Toro, Oyonimba Kabamba Yuguru, explains what a Choto Hampango means. The Kyoto, children were nurtured, young adults were groomed, and those who aspired for leadership were guided. This is a very important area where people would openly discuss issues and make decisions on matters arising in their communities. It is a place where parents told their children about their grandparents, about past leaders, about good practices, even reading Bible stories. We are trying to revive this concept and let people know that they can move a boardroom meeting to around a Kyoto, like we are here today. King Oyonyimba Kabamba Yuguru also urged his subject to revive and maintain their culture without it dying. I urge people to set up more Eviyoto in their communities and homes. We should not let this practice die. We have widened the concept of a Kyoto to include learning and skilling opportunities. This year, especially for our youth who have been hit hard by the effects of the pandemic. Toro Kingdom has been in existence since 1992 and will be making 200 years. For all these years, however, the kingdom has managed to preserve its culture. The kingdom, therefore, seeks to commercialize culture. Yves Masawi. CTV, PM Edition.